BlackRock, the largest financial institution on the planet, with control over $10 trillion in assets and a global presence in 30 countries, has announced that we are on the cusp of a new world order that will be characterized by high inflation and disrupted supply chains. This forecast is based on a number of contributing factors, such as ongoing disruptions to supply chains in China and a global worker shortage caused by aging populations. These factors are expected to have a significant impact. Inflationary pressures are increasing as businesses struggle to increase their supply in order to satisfy demand at the same time. The situation is made even worse by the decrease in working-age populations in countries with strong manufacturing bases, such as China, Italy, and Japan, which further restricts the ability of businesses to increase their supply. This is an issue that has been exacerbated in recent years. But those aren't the only problems we have. BlackRock is also of the opinion that the transition to net zero emissions will lead to imbalances in the energy supply and demand, which will ultimately result in increased prices for energy. This has already been demonstrated by the recent energy crisis, which has led to a continuous rise in the price of oil around the world, as well as an increase in the price of electricity in most countries. To make matters even more difficult, geopolitical tensions are on the rise further affecting supply chains and adding to the pressure that is being exerted on prices. So, what should we anticipate from this new era? According to BlackRock's forecasts, these trends will continue into the foreseeable future, and the company believes that any attempt by central banks to address them by raising interest rates will most likely cause the economy to enter a recession. These efforts will ultimately be fruitless due to the fact that central banks do not possess the necessary tools to have an effect on supply and improve inflation over the long term. We are transitioning into a new regime that will be shaped by shifting supply and demand dynamics, and as a result, the strategies that were successful in the past will no longer be applicable. The stage is being set for a turbulent year to come, and it is more important than it has ever been to keep up with the most recent developments in the economic landscape. The announcement made by BlackRock follows closely on the heels of their publication of their 2023 Global Investment Outlook, which offers a look into the current state of the economy, as well as what we can anticipate happening in the following year. The findings of their report make it abundantly clear that we are in for a wild ride, and it will be up to investors and other financial experts to guide us through this uncharted territory. The fact that BlackRock is so dominant in the financial industry, as well as the fact that they employ senior advisors to a number of different presidents, gives the company's statements even more credibility. It is in your best interest to pay attention whenever they speak. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that there are a lot of theories floating around about the level of control that BlackRock has over the world and their part in the process of forming the new world order. One thing is certain, however, and that is the fact that we are on the verge of a new era, and it is up to us to be ready for whatever lies ahead of us in the future. Only time will tell what the future has in store for us. It is said that they have devised a strategy to capitalize on the forthcoming New World Order and expand their presence within it. It's possible that a lot of people are scratching their heads right now, wondering how they should respond to this news and whether they should keep investing in speculative assets like cryptocurrency or try to emulate Bill Gates by purchasing more farmland. The statements made by BlackRock should, however, be taken with a pinch of salt because it is impossible to know what goes on behind the scenes. BlackRock anticipates that the economy will enter a recession, and as a result, the stock market will experience a significant decline. Since the recession has not yet reached its full impact and is anticipated to continue getting worse through 2023, the S&P 500 has already fallen by more than 25 percent, and some industry experts believe it will fall even further, possibly by 35 percent. Falling home sales, deteriorating consumer confidence, and shrinking consumer savings are early indicators that the economy is entering a recession. The recession is also anticipated to have a significant impact on the earnings of corporations. Following in the footsteps of investor Michael Burry, who has been sounding the alarm about this topic for a number of months, the market has not yet factored in the possibility of a recession, not even a mild one. It is significant that BlackRock has shifted their strategy for their bond holdings because bonds have traditionally played a key role in the portfolios of many investors due to the consistent and reliable returns they provide, which are backed by the stability of governments. However, due to the fact that bond prices and stock prices have been moving in the same direction over the past few years, 
BlackRock has decided to no longer recommend purchasing long-term government bonds. They are instead looking into short-term bonds and inflation-linked bonds in the hopes of increasing their yields, despite the fact that these types of bonds carry a slightly higher level of risk. In addition, BlackRock is making investments in investment-grade credit, as well as mortgage-backed securities, both of which may not be available to the average investor. It is important to note that BlackRock is also forecasting a decline in the housing market, which has the potential to have adverse repercussions for mortgage-backed securities, similar to those that occurred in 2006. Although BlackRock suggests healthcare, energy and financials as potential stock sectors to consider, they also advocate for a new strategic approach that can adapt to change. This is in contrast to the prior trend, which was to consistently invest in an S&P 500 index fund. Rather than relying on this approach, BlackRock advocates for a new strategic approach that can adapt to changing economic conditions. Due to the fact that BlackRock is, at its core, a profit-driven company, its recommendations regarding its own funds should be taken with a healthy dose of caution and skepticism. If the company's CEO, Larry Fink, does not actively seek out opportunities to boost profits, he could be held personally liable for the company's failure to fulfill its fiduciary duty to maximize profits at the expense of all other considerations. The outlook suggests that the solution to investment challenges is to invest in active funds offered by BlackRock. These funds are designed to make money for both their investors and for BlackRock themselves. However, these active funds also charge significantly higher fees than their passive investment funds, with BlackRock earning 23 times more for every $1,000 invested in an active fund compared to a passive fund. There are also worries regarding the power and influence of BlackRock with some individuals claiming that the company acts as a puppet master to different governments, businesses, and individuals, and that it cannot be trusted. BlackRock has been accused of acting as a cutthroat soldier for the interests of its own assets, because it has been successful in removing board members from certain companies, despite the fact that it does not own any shares in those companies and has attempted to install its own choices in those positions. BlackRock has come under fire for its ESG investing strategy, which allows the company to arbitrarily choose which companies meet their standards for environmental responsibility, positive impact on society, and strong governance principles. This strategy has been criticized by a number of people. Companies that do not meet these standards are then placed on a blacklist and are ineligible to receive potentially trillions of dollars in investments. On the other hand, BlackRock has been accused of applying these standards in a biased manner, making questionable businesses trustworthy and responsible while not doing the same for other businesses. Despite this, it is important not to ignore BlackRock's outlook on the global economy, as well as its predictions on issues such as a shrinking population and workforce, geopolitical tensions that disrupt supply chains, and the transition toward a more sustainable economy. In the foreseeable future, inflation is anticipated to stay elevated, most likely falling somewhere in the range of 4 to 8 percent. However, when taking BlackRock's advice into consideration, it is essential to exercise caution and avoid blindly trusting the company with your financial resources or coming to the conclusion that they hold the secret to achievement in the new world order. Alternative asset managers present an additional choice for investors who are anxious about the influence of BlackRock and who are looking for options. They should also be aware of the potential dangers and conflicts of interest that could be at play in BlackRock's recommendations. Investors can mitigate these risks and make informed decisions that are congruent with their values and investment goals if they diversify their portfolios and take into consideration alternative asset managers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.